Hey everybody, I'm Alex, founder and director of Barbells for Bullies, you guessed it. And uh, we've partnered up with Highly and just kind of wanted to put out a video, tell everybody a little bit more about us and what we do. So we're a 501c3 nonprofit that hosts CrossFit, powerlifting, strongman, and Olympic weightlifting events, in addition to outside the box fitness events and charity type events to raise money and awareness for animal rescues all around the U.S. with a specific emphasis on bully breeds, uh, hence Barbells for Bullies. Now people ask, you know, why bully breeds specifically? Well, first of all, we help all dogs in need. We are not breed specific, but when 1.2 million animals every year are euthanized in shelters in the U.S. alone, over half of them, some estimates as high as 1 million, are pit bull type dogs. And the reason they say pit bull type dogs is because pit bull isn't even really a breed. It's just a blanket term used to describe a dog for the way it looks. Uh, and bully breeds are far more than pit bulls, American pit bull terriers, Staffordshire terriers, that. It's pugs, mastiffs, bull mastiffs, bulldogs. There's about 30 different breeds. Great Danes are a bully breed. So we kind of exist to dispel that mythos, raise money, and raise awareness around that cause. Now, we've been established since 2016, June 2016, and to date, we've donated over $75,000, helped over 25 rescues, sponsored directly 58 dogs, um, and while we do donate all of our net proceeds to rescue, we established something called the Underdog Fund, which we designed because... Frankly, I saw a need on social media. There were all these dogs in rural shelters or underserved or underprivileged shelters that were perishing for 200 bucks. Like 200 bucks would have got them out, got them vetted and got them to a rescue. So we established a discretionary fund called the Underdog Fund to allay that problem. And to date, we've spent thousands, we've covered about 17 major surgeries, ranging from TPLO surgeries to mass removals to get these underdogs a second chance, so to speak. Now, where Barbells for Bullies is going, um, first and foremost, you know, we've partnered with Hailey. Uh, we're super excited to be part of the Charity Tea program and allow us to get in front of people that love fitness and love a fit lifestyle and maybe get them engaged in the rescue community. So that's amazing. Um, we're going to be doing online competitions that I love the name because it, it goes along with our whole mission. It's our slogan. It's our tagline. It's called as many rescues as possible. Now to anybody that's a gym rat, you know, AMRAP means as many reps as possible, but our purview and what we want to do as an organization is help as many rescues, both organizations, as well as rescue animals. We want to help as many as possible. And that's our goal. So that's just kind of a high level view of who Barbells for Bullies is and what we do. We're entirely volunteer run. Nobody draws a salary uh, at our organization. And we do that so that we can donate as much money as possible, affect as much change as possible, and help as many rescues as possible. So for more information and get involved, I'm sure there'll be links attached to this video, but you can also check us out at barbellsforbullies.org or as many rescues as possible.org. It'll get you to the same spot. If you want to get involved, uh, host an event at your gym, or just kind of, if you have an idea you want to bounce off us, we're super collaborative. Info at barbellsforbullies.org, or you can email me directly at alex, A-L-E-X, at barbellsforbullies.org. And uh, thanks for the time, and we uh, hope to see you guys in an event one day.